Well, at the last ISE, we introduced a family called Convert IP, and at this ISE, we've got a new member, which is a world first. This, for the first time, people are able to take HD-based T into a network and take it out again on that, on that same network. Until now, they had to take it out in some other format. So for the first time, they can extend HD-based T greater than its 100 meters inherent limit. This is, this is big news and yeah, we're, we're very pleased to have, uh, have brought it out. Well, one of the things, whether it's a multi-site opera um, control room or a single site control room, they quite often have ancillary rooms around them, whether you call them incident rooms, breakout rooms or whatever. And we just spoke about diversity of connectings. There's also a, a variation in bandwidths and, and the content that's being moved around and the codecs they're using. So to be able to have uh, a system that harmonizes that and lets them say, you know what, we can share this even though it's a bit unusual with the other rooms. That's what IPNX enables, and that comes through standards. What a lot of people say about standards is, well, yeah, that's okay, but doesn't an open standard mean that people can get in easily, including the people you don't want? And I have to remind them that the, some of the standards we use are things like AES encryption, and that 802.1x authentication, these things improve security, not, not reduce it. Of course, for those who are, uh, who are using permission-based security, there's other standards like Active, Di Active Directory, uh, VPNs and so on. These are all standards that give people options. One of the things that we need to think about, and whether it's users or integrators, same, uh, same consideration really, is, is whether value can be added to the, to the products to improve the overall solution that's addressing the needs. Um, the way the integrators like to do that is to, is to make it theirs by going beyond what the Matrox software does. So they look for APIs, whether it's a REST API, a, a, an NMOS API, something lighter. That lets, whether they're writing their own code or using a Crestron module, that gives them options for control that makes the, the whole solution fly the way they want it to fly. Oh, I'm very excited to work for Matrox. Being coupled to all these innovations is, is a wonderful feeling to be. You know, I've been here for 18 years now. Yeah, that's, that must say something.